Hello YouTube, how are you doing? So today I will be showing you how to cheat on Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos, Joey the Passion so that you can never lose. And the way I'm going to teach you this trick will be applicable not only on this game but it should work on all the game you have ever played and probably all the games you will ever play because uh, the way of my cheating is completely independent of how the game is made or the type of the game. Also, uh, doing this trick in order to cheat is not always simple. So for small games like uh, Microsoft Solitaire, Minesweeper and even Yu-Gi-Oh! It's, it's relatively simple to do it. However, for more complex games like the new ones, Far Cry, Call of Duty, Crisis, etc. So in these games, cheating with this method is not really simple. It's not something obvious, but it's not impossible. You just need some uh, time, concentration, a lot of researching, and hard work if you want to cheat on them. So uh, let's start our tutorial, and uh, we're going to need a little tool called Cheat Engine. So open up your browser. Go to google.com and search for Cheat Engine. Click on the first link and then you will see this big button here. Don't worry, it's not an ad, it's just a legit button. Just click it and the download should start. Once the download finishes, just click it and install. Installation is not uh, that hard. It's very simple. Just follow the, the instruction and everything should be fine. Now I've already downloaded this and installed it in my computer, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to open up my cheat engine instance here and an instance of my game that I have in my games folder, Yu-Gi-Oh! Joey the Passion, and here we go. So here we have our two programs running side by side, the game and uh, the cheat engine tool. If you see here at the top of the cheat engine program, there is a color changing icon here. So just click it and you're going to have a pop-up window that has a list of all the processes that are running on your computer. So just find your game's process. You can, you can identify it by its icon. Click open and now cheat engine has been associated with our game. So. Now that we've associated Cheat Engine with the game, uh, let's just do one simple thing. You see that option here, Enable Speed Hack. Just click it, enable it, and move the slider till you get the value of 2 and click Apply. So this will double the speed of the game so we can perform our task quickly. Now, about the way we're going to perform this cheat, uh, we're going to use Cheat Engine to scan the memory space that our game uses. And so, we're going to search particularly for our life points that are stored in the memory. So, the hard work will be on how to locate the variable that holds our life points or our opponent's life points. And once we identify that location, we can have full access of, of this variable. And so we can change our life points or our opponent's life points, change them to zero, which is equivalent to having an instant win. And this is what I'm going to do during this tutorial. So uh, let's start a new duel, a single one. And uh, I am the first to go. So, uh, I need to <clears throat> to make Joey lose some points in order to do this cheat. You're going to understand why I need this uh, later on in this video, but for now, uh, let's just uh, choose a option. So, go to scan type and change it to unknown initial value and click for scan. Pretty much you'll see that nothing happens there, but don't worry. We're going to see the changes later on. 
So now I need to attack my opponents. So I'm just going to pause the video until I am in a situation in which I can uh, attack it so that he can lose some life points and then we're going to go back. So we're back and I'm still on my first turn. I've just put this island turtle with 2000 of defense face down and uh, Joey have attacked me with a master of 1700 of attack points and he obviously have lost. 300 of his life points so what we need here is uh, the value that joey's life point has been decreased by so it's 300 so we can go back to cheat engine in the scan type choose decreased value by and in the volume let's choose 300 and click next scan if you're lucky, just like me, you're going to have only one value. If you're not that lucky, you may have other values. So what you need to do is just make him lose another amount of life points and enter that amount of life points here and just click next scan so that you can filter that list and reduce uh, the results. And if you do this, you're going you're going to be uh, to have only one result here which is your life points and as you can see here the volume that we have here doesn't actually reflect our life points so this is a, is a protection way that the game developer have chosen to use in order to hide the actual value of our life points in the memory so that cheaters that use this method don't find them. However, uh, we have managed to find that value using the differences. So when Joey's life points have been decreased by 300, then I told Cheat Engine to scan for me all the variables it has, their value decreased by 300, and I got uh, the variable that holds Joey's life points very easily in this way. So, now what we're going to do is to cheat using an instant win. So there is a lot of way of cheating and just in this video I am going to cheat with an instant win. So I will try to change Joey's life points to zero which will grant me with a instant win. So uh, let's open up my calculator and let's copy this value which is 2, 8, to five seven four eight and uh, I am going to add the decreased volume which is 300 so that I can have the initial volume of Joey's life points which is this and then I'm going to decrease 8000 so this should be equivalent to the volume zero you know life points so I'm just going to copy this, minimize my calculator, and right click on this results in this list. And I should see the option of changing the value of uh, this memory location. Just click this and paste your new value and click OK. And so you got an instant win. You win. I also won a card, Panther Warrior, which Joey uses a lot. So, this was a very, very simple way of cheating on Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course, there are a lot of other ways of cheating and I may do some other videos later on if I have some times, but uh, as for now, we should have uh, the basics or the idea about how we perform this kind of cheats in all kind of games. So, I hope you liked my video. And uh, if you have any question, any suggestion, just uh, type in or leave a comment and I will respond to it. And uh, I'm sorry for my bad English if I ever made any mistakes, so sorry for this. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, see you again.